Welcome back to the Hardcore Fishing Guide series. This is the first video going over the tier 2 fishing location where you can fish up the second trunk out of four available in the game. Don't forget to check out the first two videos over the tier 1 fishing locations. This fishing spot is what we call a honey hole. This is by far my favorite and most dependable fishing location in the game because of its unique location in the middle of Stone Talon Mountains. No other fishing spot guarantees you 100% uptime on pools to fish out of. I'm almost positive this fishing spot acts like some dynamic spawns in game where one NPC in a camp must be up at all times. Likewise, a fishing node must always be spawned in this lake. What makes this better than other fishing locations is you can always force new spawns once the fish pools are exhausted and get a chance at spawning a ship wreckage, which has a much higher drop rate on trunks and rumsy rum. It's also helpful that no one around level 20 cares to fish too often, and most people don't know how solid this location is to fish for a tier 2 spot. Sagefish is the only node that spawns here, and it's converted into 3 MP5 food and can carry your cooking skill from 80 to 160. After one hour of fishing this location, let's see what we got. After opening 21 tier 2 trunks, I got a total of 30 raw silver, 3 green items, bolts of wool and silk cloth, 25 medium leather, 13 heavy leather, and the green dagger and the bolts of silk are where we're really making our money in this run. I also ended up with a stack of strangle kelp, the next rank of healing and mana potions, 4 rumsy rum, and 135 sage fish, which is over double the amount of fish we caught off the coast in the barrens in the same amount of time which is kind of crazy. You can cook the sage fish for an additional profit of 2 silver 60 copper each stack and power level your cooking like we mentioned earlier. After vendoring everything, I made another 2 gold and 15 silver, bringing our total profit to 2 gold, 45 silver, and 1 hour of fishing. I also came away with 2 stacks of healing potions, 1 stack of mana pots, 13 heavy leather for my advanced target dummies, and 4 of the next rank of Rumsey Rum for any difficult quests or NPCs or caves I find myself in. That's it for this survival guide tip. Consider liking the video and checking out more survival resources in the description. Let me know how this fishing spot works out for you and if you find any crazy greens or blues from the trunks. Cheers.